Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Ben, and this is part three to our floppy cat game tutorial. And today we're going to start implementing the high score system. It's going to be a little bit not super complicated, but it's actually there's a little bit of work that we need to do, and we're actually going to create the game menu as well. So that's quite a bit to do today, so let's jump right in and get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is duplicate this room. And then we're going to name this Room Menu. Menu-y. And uh, the next first thing we want to do is we want to come in to our foreground. Now, this is super annoying to me that they haven't, I mean, they've stopped they've stopped working on the Mac version of Game Maker so the foreground image not working with transparency is kind of annoying to me at least it works during the game even though it doesn't work here so we're going to uh, uncheck visible when room starts and then we're going to go back over to our object we're going to delete the cat because this is our menu and then we're going to come back over and actually we'll just leave it like that for now Okay, Let's save that. Now uh, we're going to drag this room up above this one because the first room that you have in the game is the first room the game shows. And we haven't really ever done anything with rooms before, so I'm going to try and keep this really simple. Okay, now we're going to create an object, and this is going to be called Object Game Start. Sounds good enough. And we're going to add a new event, a mouse event, global left pressed and all this is going to do is it's going to send us to the next room room go to next parentheses so that's all it is okay and we're gonna wanna draw it draw some text I mean do a draw event and we'll do For draw text color let's see there's an ext width and separation and an ext color well I'm not sure if those are going to be the same on the Windows version we'll just do draw text color because I'm not sure so do x y and then for a string, we're going to put click to play. Sounds like one of those ads, right? Free to play, click here. We're going to see white, see white, see white, see white, and one. Okay? Now I'm going to show you a trick that uh, normally you shouldn't do, but we're going to get away with it in this game. I want to give this text an outline. So literally what I'm going to do is behind it, I'm going to draw another one that's black. And we're actually going to draw four of them. The reason I don't recommend this is because I can't see this as being very efficient. But in this game, honestly, it's such a small game, it doesn't matter. So do plus one, minus one for the, the x's. And then here we're going to do the y, so we're going to do plus one and minus one on the y. So what that's going to do is it's going to draw the same text, black, behind this, moved over around just one pixel on each side, so it'll give this text a black outline. Okay, and we're going to put that inside of our menu. Um, object game start. And I'm going to put it like, uh, well, actually come back into it and do this little trick. Uh, draw, set h align fa center 
So that just sets the horizontal alignment for our font to the center. But then right after that, we're going to want to set it back to left. So if we ever, uh, whoops, left at the very end. So if we ever do any other thing, anything else with fonts, then it'll be left. So it's only centered for this. Okay. And then we're going to come into the menu and put our game start object right in the middle-ish, right about there. And one more thing we're going to do, we're going to come into the game over script and we're going to change this into restart instead of end. So the game will restart every time we die. Okay. Run the game and hope this works. Okay, so we've got a click to play, but it kind of goes behind everything. Um, which doesn't look good and the grass is not in there because I forgot to put it back but let's try clicking and yep it starts the game and that looks good and it goes back to click to play for loose so now we're going to give this a depth of negative 100 because negative is closer to us so that'll put it in front of everything and then we're going to go back to the menu and we're going to go into backgrounds and in here we're going to set our foreground image again because I forgot to do that because it gets in the way. Hopefully you guys don't have to worry about that on the Windows version if that's what you're using. I'm going to start um, doing these tutorials in the Windows version. I just need to get some good screen recording software. So if you guys have any suggestions for good screen recording software, post that in the comments. I am willing to pay money, but I want something good, you know, that's that's going to be worth it. So. Okay, so that looks really good. We've got our menu in, but our score system isn't in still. And uh, that kind of looks like it's a little bit to the left to me. But whatever. You guys can make that perfect. I'm not going to worry about it right now. So the first thing we're going to do is create an object. And this is going to be called Object Score Up. And actually, that's not the first thing that we're going to do. We're going to create a sprite as well. Sprite Score Up. And this sprite is going to be just a black block. Okay? And we're going to make uh, uncheck transparent, but center this image. And we're going to give it this image right here. Now we're going to have another object, and we're going to call this object score. And inside this object, we're going to do a create event with code. And inside this code, we're going to do global dot um, current score equals zero. Awesome. So, uh, and also actually we're going to do one more thing. We're going to do a dry event. And we're going to grab the dry event from our start thing here. So go into your start object and copy this dry event. Come back into your score object, not the score, the score object. And create a dry event. Grab some. Oh, my mouse is dying on me. No, don't. Okay. And we're going to change this. Instead of click to play, it's going to say score. why my mouse decided to die on me. Barely working. Okay, and we're going to take these out because we don't want this this one to be centered, the score to be centered. And right after the parentheses on the score, we're going to do plus score, uh, string <laughs> global dot current score. So this is called string concatenation. And basically all it's doing is where uh, a string is just a, a set of text, right? A variable that's text. And we're just adding this text right here to this text right here. But this right here is not a text. This global.current score is right now, that's a number. So we've got to convert it into a text or a string. So that's what this does. 
it converts it into a string and then it adds it to the end of this string that's already there. And I forgot to do it down here. There we go. Okay, so that'll give us our black outline as well. And we want to give this a negative depth, depth of 100 as well. And let's see. Okay, go into our pillar creator. And inside the pillar creator, we're going to create a new object. Instance create room width plus 32. And on the height, we're going to do height minus 32. And then object score up. Okay? And we're doing this in the create event. And you can copy it because we're also going to do it in our alarm. So basically we're just creating this score up object in between all of our pillars. I'm trying to do this, you could do this other ways, but this is a simple, easy way of doing it. Inside of our score up object, we need to have a step event. We need to have this. Well, basically we need to have it do exactly what the pillars do. So come into your pillars and copy this, uh, copy this code. Add a step event into your score up, and we're going to copy that step event code that's in the pillars into this. Okay? Because we want them to move to the left and destroy when they go outside the room as well. But uh, technically, I guess you don't need to destroy them when they're outside the room because either the cat will destroy them or the game will restart. So um, now we need to add one more thing go into our cat object, add a collision with the score up. And we're going to do for global dot current score plus equals one. So we're going to add one to the current score. And then we're going to do uh, with other instance destroy. So we're just going to destroy the, the score up object when we run into it. And let's see, we need to put the, go back into your room, and if you have the Mac version, you're going to have to do this. If you have the Windows version, awesome. Um, okay, grab the score object and put it in the room, wherever you want it. I'm going to put mine right there, right next to the pillow creator. And go back into my backgrounds. And select this background and make it visible. Okay. Okay. That was kind of all over the place. Hopefully you're able to follow along. If you got lost, you can go back and uh, try again. But uh, you can see those are black still, so we'll want to fix that. But let's click and try this. And you can see the score is incrementing. And it looks freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. Can you guys believe how famous Flappy Bird was and how easy the game actually is to make? I mean, I'm not saying that the guy didn't uh, do a really good job of making the game, but it's not like a hard game. It's not like, you know, trying to make Halo or even Minecraft is quite a bit more complicated. So, okay, so there's not a high score system in this right now. Um, but I don't want to make this video too long, so we'll implement, we'll finish implementing the high score system. And we'll also do the sound for the game tomorrow. So tomorrow should be the last video in this series. I'm not 100% sure, but um, one thing we need to fix really quick before we uh, before I end this video is, for some reason, there we go. Open up your object score up and just make this uncheck the visible. So make it invisible and. Um, that way you can't see them in between the pillars. And save your game, and thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure and like this video. That sure helps me out a lot. Share it. Follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. If you have any suggestions or requests, email them to me at uh, heartbeast.studios at gmail.com, and I will, I will always answer whether or not I answer what you want to hear. That is, you never know, but I probably will. So I'll talk to you guys later and see ya.